Hello all you sports fans, I'm Harry James Taylor and I will now, uh, now that we're done with the Thunder, I will break down the, uh, the OU season. I'm a uh, awesome OU Sooner fan, I'm a uh, season ticket holder, So I, and I, I love my team, so um, you can just know that right now. Uh, I'll break down uh, each game for the uh, in, on these web on these webcasts, and uh, we'll see how things go from there. Uh, there might be postseason game stuff, but uh, as far as uh, as far as this is concerned, let's uh, get things kicked off and started. Uh, Oklahoma will open against the University of Texas El Paso, who's still coached by uh, Mike Price, the former Washington State head coach. Uh, overall, last year, Mike Price and the UTEP Miners had a uh, five and second, five and seven record as far as UTEP's concerned. As far as uh, Conference USA is is set, they had a two and six uh, record set, finishing uh, fifth best in the Western Division of the uh, Conference USA. Vernon Fraser had 61 carries for 434 yards and three touchdowns. That's their uh, that's their key guy that they're gonna miss this year. That's their guy that, that that did a whole lot for their team, and now they're gonna miss him with him graduating. The upset that they had last year, or the closest they came to an upset, was the uh, UTEP hosting Houston game. Uh, Houston stepped in, uh, of course, finishing the season undefeated uh, up until the conference USA title game. Uh, they they went to UTEP. They had a tough time. UTEP lost the game, however. Houston won the game 49-42 to over UTEP in El Paso. Last year, Mike Price and the UTEP Miners averaged 26.6 points a game. UTEP has faced the University of Oklahoma before. They are 0-2 against the Sooners. Of course, they met their... National Championship Year of 2000, and they met two years later in 02. A key stat here, though, both of those games, Oklahoma hosted UTEP. They were in Norman, but so this will be the first ever trip that the University of Texas, El Paso, and the University of Oklahoma will make to UTEP. Oklahoma will go to UTEP for the first time in franchise history to play UTEP. Oklahoma has played in that stadium, however. They won the Sun Bowl over Stanford a couple of years ago. As far as their returning players, their quarterback is Nick Lamelson. He threw for 1,700 yards and 12 touchdowns. He'll be a senior this year. Uh, their other running back is Joe Banyard. He had, 200, he had 832 yards and 6 touchdowns. He'll be returning. Their returning receiver was Mike Edwards, who had 50 catches for 657 yards and three touchdowns. Their defensive stopper was Deshaun Grayson. He had 67 overall tackles, five pass breakups, zero picks. As far as special teams, their special kicker was Dakota, Dakota Warren. He was 13 for 22 for 59%, with the 47 being his longest. He had two of those. One was at New Mexico State University, and the other was a home game against Southern Methodist University, SMU. As far as their punting side is concerned, Ian Campbell is that guy. Last year he had 48 punts, averaged 46.1 a game, and had a long of 71. Uh, this is a key first game for Oklahoma. Uh, as I said, they are 2-0 against this team. 2000 and 2002. Uh, Oklahoma has, I think, the, the upper advantage here. Uh, the, the, they are the team that... Uh, they're, they're on a mission. Uh, they've lost a couple of seniors their own right. Their own right. Of course, uh, Travis, Lew Travis Lewis, Ryan Broyles... Uh, Ronald Lewis, a couple of those players that they lost. But I think that with the players returning, they're going to have a situation that they can easily win this game. Uh, it's a huge game. This was supposed to be the game 
uh, that opened the uh, TCU Horn Frogs new uh, football stadium. I think that that game would have been a little bit more intriguing. Uh, of course, as I said, UTEP was five and seven. The reason why they had to change that out, of course, as if you didn't know, OU fans and Big Twelve fans, uh, TCU is now in a new conference this is of the Big Twelve. <laughs> That's being made official as of tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning to tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but as far as this is concerned, this is going to be their opener. It's going to be UTEP. Um, Mike Price uh, has been to Oklahoma, has played Oklahoma before. Uh, he was the head coach of the Washington State Jaguars when uh, Oklahoma went down and won the Rose Bowl for the first time in franchise history. Uh, next weekend, next time around, we'll break down the Florida A&M game. Uh, it should be pretty interesting to find out how that works in. But until then, I am Harry James Taylor, and as everybody should know, and everybody remember, Boomer Sooner!